all right guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to create a simple hamburger menu where we'll add a toggle effect in vanilla javascript for whether the navigation bar is open or closed so to get started all i have is a, a folder called hamburger menu and inside that folder is an index.html file so i'm just going to create a simple html template like so and i'm going to call this the title i'm just going to say hamburger menu like that and inside the body i'm going to create a div with a class of menu and inside that div i'm going to create three divs and each div will have a class of bar as well as a personal uh, personalized class of bar one bar two and bar three like that and that's all we need to do in the in our html file and let's remember to link our style.css which we'll create in a moment and then right above the closing body tag let's link our javascript file like that so let's create those two files and i'm going to call this one style.css and i'm going to create another one called main.js like that so in our style.css class we want to target our menu and let me just open this with live server so we can see what we are styling right there okay so i'm just going to target my menu like that and i'm going to let it have a padding of 20 pixels and uh, a background color of red like that and you can see it's going all the way to the end we're going to fix that in a moment then i want to target my bar class and i want to say i want each bar to have a width of uh, 30 pixels and a height of three pixels so that you can see it and a background color of blue and then we're going to say just to separate them we're going to add a margin of three pixels on the top and bottom for each and zero on the left and right as you can see now in order to fix this from going to the end i'm just going to add position absolute position absolute like that and i'm just going to place it to the right so i'm just going to say right 20 pixels like that and uh, when i hover over it i want uh, i want this cursor to change to a pointer so i'm just going to say cursor pointer like that and we can begin to style uh, our our open state so in order to do that i'm going to be targeting my menu so okay so i'm, go I'm going to be targeting my menu and I'm going to, to be checking whether the menu has an another class of open like that. And if it has this class, then I want to target each of the individual bars that, that we have here. So I'm going to say bar dash one. And I'm going to say for bar one, I want it to transform and I want it to rotate, rotate 40 degrees like that. And then for bar two, I'm just going to copy this it down like that for bar two for the second bar which is this middle bar that we, we have right here okay for the second bar i want it i want it to disappear so i'm going to say opacity zero like that and then for the third one for bar three i want it to rotate the opposite of bar one so i'm just going to say minus 40 degrees and once i save that you'll notice something okay you nothing will happen because the open class is not yet in our html but if I go to my HTML and add an open class here, like that, you'll notice that this happens. So in order to fix that, I just want to push uh, the third bar. I want it to push upwards. So I'm going to add a, a negative margin on the top. So I'm going to say margin top of minus 12 pixels. Why is that good enough? Let's see, 11. Okay, 12, 12 is much better, okay? And this is how we want our navbar to look when, uh, when this class is when it has the class of open okay so i'm just going to remove it for now because we want to do it dynamically in javascript okay so we're going to go to, to our main js file and what we're going to do is we're going to be targeting we're going to get this class we're going to get this div sorry with the class of menu which is the the main div that has the background color of red okay and then we're going to add an event listener on that class uh, we're going to be listening for the click event and we say if it is clicked then we want to add the class of menu so we're going to say menu and i don't have an id on this i'm just going to use query selector so i'm going to say document dot query selector and it has uh, a class of dot menu so for query selectors you, you always have to have um, whatever like if it's a class you have to cl to have a dot like that if it's an id you have to have an id and if it's just an element then just call the element okay 
so this is the menu and I'm going to say for the menu I want to add oops for the menu I want to add an event listener and I'm listening for the click event and once it's clicked then I want the menu I want to toggle a class so I'm going to say menu dot class list dot toggle and we're toggling the open class like that and once I save that and I try it you can see that happens okay now I don't want it to just pop in like that so I'm going to add a transition effect on the menu okay so I'm going to add a transition uh, a transition property on the menu and I'm going to say uh, not on the menu sorry but on the bars on the bar on the main bar class so I'm going to say transition transition by 0 0.4 seconds let's see that and you can see that it looks very nice now just to give you a practical example I'm going to add a dummy nav bar right here just below this and I'm going to see a nav or uh, creating a nav element okay and I want a ul with three list items and all of them having anchor tags like that I'm just going to say home about and contacts just so you can see how this applies okay so I'm going to save that and you can see this appears now I want this to disappear by default because hamburger menus are usually just used for mobile navigations okay so I want to hide this by default so I'm going to say for the nav our nav element I don't, it doesn't have a class remember okay so our nav element I want it to have a, a height of zero and an overflow of hidden which will make it disappear from the page and then I want to check uh, for whether this class is open whether the, the menu has a class of open and whether if it has a class of open then I want to add a class to this number which will make it appear by adding the height to it I don't know if that made sense but what I'm saying is I'm going to add a class to the number so I'm going to say a class of number like that and I'm going to say height of 100 pixels okay so if the if the menu we're going to be checking for whether this is open whether it's clicked okay and whether it's clicked then I want to add this class which will make the 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 navigation bar appear so I'm going to go to our main JS and we're going to be looking for this element once again so I'm going to go below and I'm going to say const now is equal to document dot dot query selector and this time it's an element which is called now and uh, I'm just going to go below here and I'm going to say nav dot class list dot toggle and I'm going to say nav bar like that and I hope that works and you can see but then again I don't want it to pop up so I'm just going to add a transition right here I'm going to add a transition and I'm going to transition the height by 0 0.4 seconds like that and look at that and it looks very nice it looks very very nice so that's a, a real world example if you want to to use a hamburger menu and i hope you like this video and if you like this video please remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video